Brink takes place on the Ark. It's an immense artificial floating city at sea, built as part of a contemporary green vision, but now existing in 2045, and having lost contact about 20 years beforehand with the rest of the Earth, it exists in complete isolation, with what were originally sustainable resources now in limited supply. The result of this is that competing social factions have been thrown into an isolated and horrific conflict. We're heading to the Arcs Airport. This was the original location that celebrities flew in and out of and had their photo opportunities, but it's also because it's been deserted and disused for 20 years, the ideal location for me to show you a couple of the game's features in the absence of any enemies. Now Brink uses those same familiar shooter controls that you're used to, but without the artificial constraints because we've developed a new system that we're calling SMART. It stands for Smooth Movement Across Random Terrain. If you walk up to something that's an obstacle, just as you would do in any other shooter, you'll stop. But if you want to try and indicate to the game that you want to get somewhere as quickly as possible, using this SMART button you're able to vault, mantle and climb with ease. And this is a cool system for helping you navigate through the game, but it's not an autopilot. You don't enter a canned animation that you can't get out of. It's great for advanced players too. If you're approaching an obstacle, like a security sensor, and you want to make it through that obstacle without perhaps alerting the enemy to your presence, you could just look up and you'll mantle up and over that automatically. And by the same token, if you use your same smart button just running towards something and looking down, you'll indicate to the game that you're able to slide under something. And this is really important because in Brink, we want you to be able to make tactical decisions about where you go and how you play. <coughs> it's not a rail shooter where you're on a kind of minecart witnessing canned cinematics. And that's important too because in Brink, irrespective of whether you play offline or online, you can create a cool identity for yourself that really reflects how you want to play the game. So in Brink, you take on a combat role that suits your preferred playing style, whether you're on the front line attacking the enemy or perhaps at the rear doing support. You'll take part in military objectives as part of a coordinated squad. And when you complete these successfully, you'll earn experience points that allow you to unlock cool upgrades for your weapons, really cool abilities that suit the way that you want to play, and also cool outfits that reflect what a badass you are. And you can do this irrespective of whether you play offline in traditional single-player style mode with no internet connection, or play cooperatively with up to seven friends, or go online and play fully where the entire game is full of strangers. <laughs> 